Well, today I'm going to say a few different things about Cushman Tracksters than I usually do. I talk about Cushman Tracksters on our website and you can see them on YouTube in several places. But here I simply want to show you what one of my working Tracksters looks like. There are four styles of Tracksters and this is the soft top version. It is my favorite. I don't need the doors which can be fitted to this model or the doors that, can, that come standard on the hard top model. Even in the winter or when it's raining, the soft top breaks most of the wind and protects me from most of the other elements. This one is well used, but my son Rick keeps it in excellent mechanical shape for me. We used to use one when we made maple syrup and I could get maybe up to 50 empty sap pails on it in addition to the spiles, drilling equipment, and covers. Now I use it for, mostly for going to work in the woods, so I use up just about every available space for that kind of equipment. I always carry a chainsaw or two. chainsaw gas and oil, toolbox for all the uh, chainsaw support equipment, that kind of stuff. Always have a pry bar of some sort, an extra axe, in addition to the maul and a couple of smaller axes that are in that uh, pail. I always have some Tordon RTU with me because I'm big on eliminating wild buckthorn. I usually have a shovel, I don't know where it is right now, but there's usually a shovel in here. I usually have a toe strap or two and always a first aid kit because you never know what's going to happen to you in the woods and you want some way to stop most of the bleeding. And then uh, several pairs of earmuffs because tracksters are kind of loud. Notice that there are two places for people to sit. if I didn't have all that stuff in the middle. In this, uh, to sit in this rear box part of the machine. We added one padded uh, tractor, uh, garden tractor seat uh, because my uh, visitors sometimes want to have a little more comfort when they ride back there when it's not so stuffed. I also, but I do leave room in the main seat here, I don't pile anything in this area because anytime I have visitors who haven't seen tracksters before, they certainly want to get a ride. This one has a small hitch on the back that would take probably a, you know, a few hundred pounds. But recently I used uh, the Traxter and that hitch and the tow strap to pull out a pickup truck that was stuck up in our woods. Its four-wheel drive failed in a place where you couldn't get another truck into pulling position because of all the trees in the brush. The Traxter was able to run down most of the brush and being narrow, low, and quite short, it was very maneuverable. It took about three hitches and pulls to get the truck back on the trail, but it worked. So anyway, that's kind of my view of what a working Traxter ought to look like and what it ought to do for a living. <laughs>